Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to look at the fastest factory offered 30 caliber magnum. That, of course, is the 3378 Weatherby Magnum. We're going to look at its history. We're going to look at its downrange performance. And at the end, we're going to look at a custom 3378 Weatherby that will blow your mind. The 3378 Weatherby Magnum's initial developments started in the 50s from Roy Weatherby. He had a contract with the U.S. Army to produce a cartridge that could shoot a bullet over 5,000 feet per second. And he chose the 3378 Weatherby to do that. So he took his 378 Weatherby Magnum, necked it down to 30 caliber, and it is a rocket. So this cartridge wasn't sold uh, officially until 1996 from Weatherby, uh, but a lot of people had wildcat this cartridge, just like Roy Weatherby did. And uh, this is the fastest factory offered 30 caliber Magnum. So let's go ahead and look at how fast this guy can go when you uh, hand load it with a 165 grain bullet it goes 3500 feet per second crazy fast let's go up to the bigger bullets 180 grain bullet going well over 3400 feet per second the 200 grain bullet 3300 feet per second now let's move on to some bigger bullets the 220 grain bullet 3150 feet per second and last hornady says you can get with this 225 grain uh, 3100 feet per second so yeah it's pretty darn fast i just wanted to show you what this cartridge looks like compared to other 30 caliber magnums now in this picture the 3378 weatherby magnum is on the left in the middle is the 300 Remington Ultra Mag, and then on the right is the newer 30 Nosler. In this next picture, the 300 Weatherby is on the left, and the 3378 is on the right. So yeah, this cartridge is taller than all of them, and it's also a bit wider with the dimensions as well. So that's how it gets all that velocity. Now, if there is one knock on this cartridge, it has to be the efficiency uh, or the lack thereof this cartridge is just burning so much powder it's a huge case let me just show you with a 165 grain bullet you're burning up to 120 grains of powder and you're getting about 200 feet per second faster velocities than the 300 weatherby which is burning anywhere from like 85 to 90 grains of powder so yeah, this thing is not efficient at all. Now, it does come with a 26-inch barrel. And I understand that from Weatherby. Uh, it's not very practical to hunt with a barrel that's over 30 inches long. But to truly get the potential out of this beast, you really got to have a barrel that's longer than 26 inches. And this is what I want to show you, or talk about really, is a channel that I really like. Uh, it's called Mark and Sam After Work. They built a custom 3378 Weatherby Magnum, and they got the true potential out of that cartridge. Back in April, Mark and Sam did a video on their 3378 Weatherby Magnum. Now, this is a custom rifle. It has a 31-inch barrel, and they're testing it out a little over 3,000 yards. And they had some pretty insane velocity with their 250 grain A-tip Hornady bullet. They had it going, on average, 3,200 feet per second, which is extremely fast. In fact, I'm going to show you the ballistics of this specific load, and it's, it's pretty mind-boggling. Okay, the ballistics for Mark and Sam's uh, load using a 250 grain A tip with a BC of 0.878. Uh, pretty insane numbers. Now, let's get this out here. The A tip is not a hunting bullet. 
and so I would not recommend it for game. But uh, hypothetically, this is kind of what it would look like if you were hunting. Uh, with the muzzle loss of 3,200, the energy is almost 5,700 foot-pounds. Uh, and let's just say we zeroed at 100. I know you wouldn't do that, but let's just say we do. Uh, you know, out to 400 yards, you're going to have the energy of a 300 Weatherby mag at the muzzle. Let's just go ahead and take it down farther. Once we get to around 750 or 800 yards, hey, that's the muzzle energy of a 30-06. So that's pretty good. Then all the way out to a thousand, it's still going almost 2,200 feet per second, and the energy is 2,600 foot pounds. That's more than a 6.5 Creedmoor out of the muzzle. So this is just crazy. And then the drop, only 190 inches. Now, before I let you go, I just wanted to show you how awesome the 3378 Weatherby Mag is. This here is a 300 PRC. It is also a great long distance cartridge. Uh, it's really good, honestly. Uh, and it's really meant to shoot the big long BC bullets. So let's go ahead and look at it shooting the 250 grain A tip. So 2,700 feet per second. The 3378 Weatherby is 500 feet per second faster than a 300 PRC with this specific build. Now, you can put a much longer barrel in the 300 PRC, and you're going to probably get at least 100 feet per second faster. So, but still, it's pretty crazy. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you could do me a favor and uh, go watch and subscribe to Mark and Sam After Work. Uh, his videos are really good. Uh, he takes all sorts of calibers and shoots them at extremely long distance. But uh, thanks for watching. Hope you have a good day.